the number one cause to flooded basements and failure of buried downspouts underground is when people let the grass grow over the discharge line. That's why we came up with the turf restrictor plate. So that grass can grow on top of it, but it won't impede the lid from opening and letting the water out. The, the way the flap comes up and it can also detach at this point is, is just, it's excellent. Get the turf restrictor pop-up. You won't be sorry. Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. I wanted to go over really quick why we designed this pop-up emitter and why we designed it the way we did. Traditional pop-ups were spring-loaded, really small. When leaves and tree seeds would try to get out of them, they couldn't. We wanted to make our pop-up emitter to where it would let leaves out, tree seeds out. And another thing that frustrated me, all the pop-ups on the market, you couldn't get your hand down in them. So when you have a bunch of leaves and tree seeds and tree buds that floated to the other end, maybe you didn't have a hard rain. Maybe you had a light rain. So it just floated to the other end. I wanted to be able to stick my hand down inside that pop-up emitter and clean that fitting out. So that's what we did. We designed a pop-up emitter that you could get your hand down inside. We're the first to ever do something like this. Most pop-ups are on a 90 fitting. It's really easy to just get your hand inside, clean out any leaves or tree seeds. It's also a great point for access if you wanna run a camera from this end. Another thing that used to frustrate me, these are really tiny. The grass grows over them in a minute. That's a problem because then you lose them. Now your underground buried downspout system is not daylighting. What that means is your water has to be taken to daylight. You can't lose your water underground. That's not usually the way it works. If you run it to a storm sewer, sometimes it can work that way, but nine times out of 10, you're going to a pop-up emitter. It needs to daylight. If grass grows over it, now all that water is gonna pour right at the roof. Your gutter trough's gonna fill up and it's gonna pour off of the house you're gonna end up with a flooded basement or a flooded crawl space over a pop-up that the grass grew over. What we did is we designed a pop-up emitter so that grass can grow on top of it, but it won't impede the lid from opening and letting the water out. A couple times a year, you can trim the grass out around it. And don't worry, when you lose one of these, you're not gonna find it. But if you do lose one of ours, because say you're a contractor and your client did no maintenance, and they're reporting they're getting water in their basement. You go look for the pop-ups, you can't find them. This big plate, you walk around and you just go ahead and poke at the ground, you'll hear a solid thunk when you find it. So it's easy to recover. Those are all the reasons why we made our turf restrictor plate and a really, really large opening for our pop-up emitter. Now, pop-up risers have typically been made of PVC. The problem with PVC risers these lawnmowers today, these big zero turns with operators on them, they weigh so much that they crack these. So what we did is we went ahead and we designed an HDPE riser. Gives you two inch lifts. It has a flange, no tools required, no glue required. When you backfill it with dirt, it's not gonna pull off because the dirt's gonna get caught on the flange. This flexes, this has a lot of give, and it can't be broken by lawnmowers. In the wintertime, if you have a pop-up freeze-up, this will expand and contract with the freeze and thaw cycle. You can also stack them if you need to go a little higher. If you have any questions about this pop-up emitter, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.